have a story to tell? I believe you. Ghost. Cryptids. The unknown. Let's talk about it. This is my ghost cast. Hey guys, welcome back to the last story of episode 10 with our guest, Ricardo Ruiz. This story here is where I believe I got my Kurophobia or fear of clowns. Stay tuned. Don't be scared. I been hearing all these these stories more and more lately because dude I had I had a, a, a man I'm gonna share this with you guys I hadn't shared this yet I shared on this 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 interview so I have a clown story <laughs> with the uh, museum the Corpus Christi Museum so I remember we used to go you know mess kids go hey let's do some fun let's all go to the museum oh yeah that's a lot <laughs> and the whole family goes to this to the museum right we are cousins everybody's there and i uh i come up to the you remember the old section that had all the carnival stuff and all the circus stuff yeah there was an area there and i was drawn to it but more out of fear because i'm looking through all the stuff and you know, for some reason, back in the day, everybody thought clowns were cool, man. I was scared of those Mufasas. Never liked them. Never <laughs> and, liked them. Dude, and this, this episode, or this, this time I was there, reinforced my fear of clowns. So I'm looking. I don't know if you remember, but there was this clown that was inside the display. It was a kind of a almost a life size clown. And I remember like looking at it, and I was like, "Why am I being drawn to this clown?" Like. Tengo miedo, you know, I'm feeling fear, but I'm there. But part of, you know, part of me thinks I'm safe because my family's around me, right? And I'm like, and I, I almost get mesmerized. Mesmerized, <laughs> right? And I'm like, and I, like all this fear and all this stuff's running through my head and I'm looking at the clown. And then all of us, as I'm looking at it, my peripheral vision catches the hand Oh shit! Dog. It goes like that, and I'm. I just started screaming, like a little, I was a little kid. I'm like, oh my god! And I look around, and it was crowded when I was looking at the clown. There was nobody there. When that happened, nobody but me was in there. <laughs> like no one was there to see. I told you, mira, se movió, you know. Dude, I was like, oh my god! And I'm looking around, and I look back up, and and the clown's just, and I'm I like, you so. son of a bitch. I don't think so. No, no, no. I went running. I went running my ass off, and my whole family left. They left me behind. Me, you know. And I was like, "Hey, man, what's your problem?" I tell my mom all about it. Ah, that's local. None of it happened. I'm like, oh, I ain't going back anywhere. I ain't going back anywhere. Hey, where goes that? Hey, that where was my last visit, Ricardo. That was my last visit to that. But <laughs> there's a part. There's a part two to it. So no script. <laughs> I know, right? This was like, hey, this was maybe about three years ago. Okay. So me and my wife are watching uh one of the ghost shows, Ghost Adventures, with Zach and those crazy fools. Oh yeah, yeah. And you uh, opened up a portal to hell. To hell. It was like You like raping yeah, that, you want to rape me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was provocative back then, but now Yeah, yeah. now he's gotten sick and stuff. <laughs> He yeah, said, he's like, no, 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 no. send Aaron in there. Hey, Aaron. Yeah, send, uh, lock Aaron in that, in that basement. What? Yeah. <laughs> so we're watching the show where he's in, uh, I think, Nevada, in the, uh, Nevada, I think, or Vegas, somewhere around yeah, they, there. And they, all they, of they a sudden, in Nevada. Yeah, and they, they, they went, hey, they're like, hey, by the way, we're going we're gonna to leave this, this interview to go to the a clown thing that they oh, had in vegas oh, the mo oh okay i thought it was that clown motel 
There's some clown hotel in the desert, you know. Every yes. room was decorated with clowns. It was just the hideous, most hideous business I'd ever seen in my life. It might have just, been that or somewhere yeah. where they collect clowns. Something was like that. And so they go there and, you know, he's filming and, you know, they're talking about, oh, let's do it at night. And he goes and he's filming across showing all the displays. And lo and behold, that same fucking cloud is he, he <laughs> right by it. And it brought me back. I was that little kid again. Oh. Got I'm, like, got and I'm like, that is, yeah, todo cagado, man. I was like, I'm not, you know, and I was like, that's the clown that got me. I like Bill Murray and Ghostbusters. That's the one, you know, that, that was on the show. So there's more to it. So as Zach and them, they're doing their investigations. He's going through there and filming and talking and he's getting the vibe off that same clown. Wow. And he's there and his whole crew. And then all of a sudden, the fucking clown's hand moves to them as oh, well. Oh, I don't think so. Dude, those guys ran out screaming like little bitches. <laughs> you know, they were just like me. It was like when I was a yeah. third or yeah. fourth grade. I, I, I'm the same way. You know, it's like me with that black eye. Yeah, you were the black eye. All three of us now. Dude, he was. I went and, you know, of course, they came back and turned all the lights on and they're testing it out. Sure enough, man, that thing moved. They took the arm off. <laughs> and I was like, take that motherfucker's arm off, man. Yeah, I can't burn it already, you know? <laughs> Dude, it was the same clown, Ricardo. The same one got Zach. I, mean, I wouldn't me. be surprised if, you know, it, it got sold, you know, to, to those guys. I mean, those guys, that, are, whoever owns that place, he was getting clowns from all over the country, all over the world, you know? Because yeah. everyone was decorated with clowns. I mean, yeah. it was clown themed. You know, you just don't find that in one state. You know, it could have been the actual same damn clown. Honestly, it could have been. Yeah, it might. Small you know, that's a, that's a fair point. I know. Anyway. Thanks. I ain't going there. Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm, I got too many scary things with clowns. Yeah, Even my mom. I think my mom is the one who put the initial. Hey, mom. <laughs> put the initial fear of clowns. When I was a little <laughs> kid, she she uh, she thought, hey, let me dress up as the clown. For your birthday and man she looks so scary, scary as shit yeah dude I was, dude, I was like oh, that little kid is running because she said I, i'm gonna i'm gonna put the picture up for you so y'all can see the, i got know, the picture the face paint is just unnatural you know i mean it's everything you got about it is just uh just unholy you know <laughs> you know yeah that's unholy man yeah, dude, it's, Hey, dude, yeah. So she was, she was right there trying to show, it, and dude, I was screaming. They, I wouldn't get near. She took off, you know. And then she's like, "Oh, it's me, it's me." I was like, "Oh shit! All right, birthday gifts." <laughs> At least I knew it was her at that point, but I think she put. Oh yeah, but yeah. I, I have it right here. So okay, so take this picture. So I sent my mom this picture, kind of as a as a hey, mom, you know, I love this picture. You and I, it's a great story. And my poor mom, thought, oh my god, he's. He's doing it to scare and get me back. <laughs> that wasn't what I was trying to do. Now she's scared of Here's that clown picture. Jesus. Oh, my God. That's hideous, dude. <laughs> I told you. Nah, that is nuts. Oh, my God. So I blew it up, and I sent, I sent it to her. You need to put on a T-shirt. I sent it to her. She thought I was being mean. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's a brilliant idea, man. Loves the t-shirt, man. <laughs> when her next birthday party, everyone's wearing a shirt with her. <laughs> no, Shut up. Now that you said that, I'm going to get you a t-shirt like that. That is insane, dude. That makes right? Oh, my God. That was that's a serial what... killer clown, you know? I think she was scarier at this. And this is her re-putting that makeup on. So it was even worse before. She just, uh, you know, no real experience putting on the make con makeup. She just did the best she could, but man, she the did. result was the result was scary as hell. Yeah, you look like you're about three years old there. Yeah, I thought. You know? <laughs> Holy smokes! I just shit my pants. You know, cause... I totally shit my pants, man. Yeah. I'm shitting my pants now thinking about it. <laughs> Still, I think it'd be great. Everybody shows up with that T-shirt. I don't know. 
That would be prize winning, dude. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be marketing. I know we got to put them in a My Ghost Cast t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to again. I wanted to thank you for coming on the show. I want to have you on again. This this was awesome, and I know you got a lot of stories. We've been kind of talking about them here and there. Uh, we got one that I that I definitely want on there. The one we talked about the uh, uh, susta uh, susto. Oh yeah, God, he's, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, we'll, on our next interview, I'll bring you in on that one. I, uh, that was really good too. You sure, know, man. I'd be happy to happy yeah. to you know, enjoy the conversation. Is there is there any uh, anything you'd like to you know any last words or advice or something you'd like to tell the audience? Uh, no, you know, don't be scared. You know, just um, I mean, they're out there. I mean, they're out there. I, you know, I don't know why they're there. I don't know, but you know, it doesn't it doesn't pay to be scared. You know, just uh, remember every detail. So you can scare somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> That's something I, I like. I hope to become a badass, humored old guy like you, you know. Good looking, too, apparently. That's a good looking dude right there. Ricardo's a good looking man. So thank, I wanna, you, thank you. Thank you. Retirement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, thank you so much for being on here. Guys, if you need to get a hold of him, uh, I'll put his information up there. What's the best place they can reach you, Ricardo? Well, you know, uh, uh, I'm on Instagram as uh, Ricardo Reese the Elder. Uh, I'm also on, on Facebook as Ricardo Reese. Uh, then there's my website. You can I, I take um, I can you can email me there at um, Ricardo Reese dot art. Really pretty easy to pretty easy to find, you know. I'm a little overweight, so I'm pretty easy to find. <laughs> so my wife, yeah, I'm gonna get into shape. I go, but I'm in the shape of a ball. That's kind of that's its own shape. Yeah, that's but now shape. I told I told <laughs> my wife. now I'm potato. Yeah, I told, I told my wife, hey, a blob's a shape. Again, Ricardo, thank you so much for being on the show. Man, I can't wait to have you back. You know, so. Hey, well, just let me All know, right, man. guys. Thank you for watching. You... Absolutely. Absolutely. We got to do this again. Sounds good. Uh, Sounds good. Yes, thank you. I'll bring, I'll bring beer next time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll see you out there in Corpus. You know, soon. <laughs> again, guys, thank you so much for watching my ghost game. <laughs> don't forget to like share, subscribe and comment uh please go visit uh ricardo's website check that out i'll put all the details in there uh, please support our artists it's very important all right guys thank you for watching my ghost cast you have a go